have the skulks working on them. And sh oh, did the fate go down? I want to see that. And where's the fate here? Yeah, a poker, I think. No, it was a different fate. It was Toner here by Derbs getting here, being the man against two focus fates, taking down one of them, forcing one back to home. So. Yeah, that's power of weapon 3 here, motion tracking, jetpacks and even ammo 3. And as you might know, ammo 3 is has, has a special meaning against focus. You need an additional swipe if you get a mad pack, so it's not just two swipe if you get a mad pack, you need an additional swipe to take off take out the jetpacker and it can be really hurting here for those fails since the time they need to get land an extra swipe um, it can be all over since they do a crazy amount of damage with weapon three. And yeah, so keep on doing what you do to ram, but please, please, you need you having your fates stay alive. You need having four or five fates up at the same time and going together. And here's another fate just going down and not reminding this time. It's just getting too many fates getting soloed. Um, not soloed by the meaning getting killed by one marine, I mean soloed by going alone. So, um, <laughs> yes, this is a perfect opportunity now for changing the meta game, taking down all the resonance, all the receipts. There's no fate left in the field, zero fate. Actually, really horrible. All they have is skulks, and yeah, they obviously die here to those fully upgraded chapters, or at least they should die. But no, he goes one chat back down to Cone. Cone, he's really the man as a Skalk. They should really fear Cone. That's the legend of Cone. Taking down so many Marines with guns and equipment. It's amazing to watch that, really, honest. But yeah, it happens. So, guys, snipe the rest nodes. I think you don't really need a face gate. Um, it, okay, it's just my opinion. Sometimes I, I talk to myself, but... Uh, I think, honestly, I, I wouldn't give a crap about face kits right now. Just power down mineral, fly to heating, power down, fly to storage, power down, and the game looks completely different. You don't need a face kit. I mean, you have jetpacks. They fly there in like two seconds for base, and the, having jet, having face kits just costs you like 25 reds, 15 for the face gate, 10 for the mines, and they delays you if you need to face the cooling or to base back to base. It delays you since there's an additional phase gate in the queue, and you can get grinded on the phase gate. So it's it's a lot of cons for a phase gate position you don't really need, in my opinion. So just just keep on going in, snipe all the nodes, especially as long all the fades are down. Having a quick look at the rest situation again. Cone can fade. He has 100 rest. Condor can fade soon. Palato can fade soon. So. Um, well, it's, let me say in one minute there will be three fades up in the field, or well, less than a minute. And finally, finally they're just going straight for the nodes, taking on, that's how easy, how fast it can be. If you go straight for the nodes, it takes just a few seconds to take down all of them. And the next they can do is just starting sniping chambers somewhere. Pinging the map, having a look for sensor chambers, taking them down, and... Yeah, just go fly into the hive, snipe down the rest nodes. Even if they're 5 OC, it doesn't matter. You're in a good shape enough with 4 jetpacks. Just take it down. If you lose 1 jetpack and beacon, it's all okay. And right now, even if 2 ram had a good beginning in the 2 half situation against jetpacks, did some solid nice stuff here on the rest biting and rest dropping and OC dropping. Unfortunately, the fate, I think, um, yeah, pretty much got rocked by going alone and that's the biggest issue uh, I think by a little bit lack of teamwork here focus feeds needs to rely a lot more on teamwork as a carrot pass fade you can sometimes go alone to distract marines since um, you have 100 additional armory to survive if you need to go out if you need to retreat somewhere it's okay but um, without that with just 150 armor with focus fades it's like impossible to survive if two good jetpackers HMG come from you on different sides with motion tracking support and weapon 3 uh, you can't do it alone obviously so yeah here we go 
Um, you have even some rest for some remote ops to beacon if necessary if the ops is getting taken down in base and so it's two fates now in the field. Where's the third fate? Pelado should be fading. No, Cone is fading, so I think he died. I'm not quite sure. But um, aliens are down to two rest nodes. The first they need to do is going back, fighting rest nodes. At least they killed, I think, two jetpackers. But it is okay for Marines. They have like six rest nodes in total, or even more. No, I think it's seven. Yeah, it's seven actually. And it's no problem with seven. Oh, goddammit. Another fate going down. Yeah, as you can see, no problem with seven rest nodes to re-equip your team. Um, you really, and that's the biggest problem. Against the, f again, the fates are going alone. We had two fates in the field with one gestating, and one fate alone there, one fate alone here at flight, and a poker. I think he should have died there. Two chat because he was chasing him. I think I saw on the minimap he was blocked, and running into a dead end in storage even so. Honestly, if correctly chasing, <laughs> this fate should never survive. But it doesn't matter, um, fates keep going alone, so a poker is going alone, I think. And he, don't close that. It will just kill you if, if you have to go <laughs> back. <laughs> and look at this, there was one marine in the vent just waiting for him, and he's using the other one. Where's the second fate? The second fate is a mineral. Guys, you have to work together. It's just two fates against five jetpackers. And look at this trap at power banks. So easy to trap once more again. I mean, okay, can I? Th yeah, pretty much screwed up. I think the trap right there um, it happens also. But um, yeah, like every second time at least you should take down the fate. And there goes the fate here. Yeah, there was another guy in supply way. I mean, I tell you, it's motion tracking. Those marines, um, even with the ping disadvantage, of course, um, um, you have problems with aim correctly or. Um, using your movement skills correctly sometimes. I don't I don't know, it doesn't matter really at all. As long as you can use your brains and use your minimap usage. Um, that was a double the word. Okay, <laughs> use the minimap, use the motion tracking. Um, it's so easy to take down lonely fates. And I think we saw more than 10 fates die that way and it's pretty simple to win a game if it's going like this. So still two resnauts, marines still with confidence, seven resnauts fully equipped and marines shooting at each other. That's how desperate they are, how easy that is to kill fates. And yeah, I think there is a siege coming up now for smelter, they are probably not gonna fly into smelter when they drop a face gate here. So we have four face gates in total, please recycle, please recycle mineral, you don't need it. I hope you did. You can see, you cannot see it on the minimap, but I really hope you did. And yeah, faster welding micro. Do you have a welder? Yeah, you have a welder. You didn't weld your teammate. What kind of teammate are you? <laughs> um, yeah, the, as you can see here, the game is coming to the end. The sieges are going up, and I don't see those two fates really do much here. And that's hallway. Uh, it's gonna be really, really tough. It's um, easy to block a fate if you do it correctly. I mean, you have motion. You have like three, four. Jetpacks with agent cheaters and the fates are blocking themselves. <laughs> not not a marine needed to do it on their own. <laughs> yeah, the last fates are going down, just one fate left, and I don't see what Colony, as good as this Skulk was, really have to admit, um, was really some game changing moments here with this Skulking. <laughs> um, I, I think I put too much in it. Um, it, it was just like the moment all those shotgunners look in different angle but yeah good timing good positioning is half the effort is half you need and here we go the hive is getting siege all the chambers are getting siege and there's nothing um, Cohen can do he cannot just blink into four jetpack HMGs with full upgrades um, I wouldn't be surprised if there would be some cat packs right now since the uh, calm here Brock is just swimming in res and Cohen can do nothing but blinking around the hive and I'm expecting a four soon, or just yeah, the fake going down. What else can he do? And yeah, here's the F4. Really nice game and changing the meta game after a long, long round number four, winning this matchup 4-0. Um, it seems pretty much convincingly, but I have to say, two Ram had I think three chances to win. 
Um, both marine rounds, they had a good start, really good start. It was completely open. They could have won both marines round. Um, after the fourth or fifth minute mark, they start they start falling apart somehow, and um, yeah, it happens. And here they on the lack of teamwork, I think, and some delayed race fighting cost to run the game also. Uh, but of course, don't um, underestimate meta game. They did a really good job. Nice stuff, also with the hyping and vice versa. I enjoyed this matchup. Um, some more Division 2 games, since uh, I hope you guys want to see all games, all teams who are in, uh, involved here in ENSL. Um, don't want to cast too many of the teams you already know. Um, if I have like five casts of the same team, it's going to get boring. And yes, yeah, so I wanted to cast one game of meta game and one game of 2 RAM, since. 2RAM, I think, is playing for ENSL for so long that it pretty much deserve one cast at least. And they did a good job, and I really wanted to do that since I never really watched one of the replays of them and, and checked, trying to analyze the, analyze the play. And yes, so I did it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And talking way too much right now, you can leave me by now. Gonna cast more, even if I'm still super lazy, but I keep doing that like always and I hope you're gonna be in next time subscribe so far blind out